Look at this. This is hanging over the limb. Fish ate it. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the great outdoors. We're at the deer lease again. And last time I was able to get a pig on the e-bike and this thing is awesome. Uh, and I was, I was I actually took it out last night again to go after some, uh, some predators, ended up running into some other hogs and whatnot. But uh, the rifle scope was apparently off or I just really suck because uh, that ended pretty much unsuccessfully. So there is a pond out here that I've yet to fish and it is just lined with uh, vegetation right now, weeds, uh, and it's, it's a pretty wide pond, but it's shallow. And I just thought this is the perfect time to break out a little frog and just go bob that thing around the edges and see what happens. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. Sometimes you just get these ponds in the summer and early fall that dang near all you can do is throw a frog and it's such a good effective way to fish over the top of grass and with our collaboration with Catchco making a lot of our hard baits and uh, frogs we decided to go with a junior size frog now everybody's got their frog color preferences but you know, for me I like to go uh, dark on overcast uh, days like today we've got a little overcast coming in so I've got some black frogs and I've got some white frogs I really just like to go with light colors dark colors um, the ones with the little yellow and the white on the bottom are good too I like that color you're gonna be hard-pressed to beat that little that little color right there Look at that little unit just little bitty buddy ready to be slurpied now they're available so you can pick them up at guggensquad.com and you can always use the code LFG if you want to receive 10% off. If you don't, it's up to you. My new e-bike here, it allows for a few danglers on the back. There we go, all right. Now we're ready to rock y'all. So let's head down to the pond. I have not fished before, it's covered with weeds and this is the pond where the pond deer was living last year this deer that I really I was targeting for weeks I was really trying to uh, to get him in the fall and I never really wanted to mess with that pond I never fished down there I never duck hunted down there because I just did not want that pond deer to go away but we are not in hunting season yet so we should be good so let's head down to the water let's see if we can get some bass on the frog Up top Let's ride. Here we go in here. Let's see if I can do all this at the same time. With a drink, with a fishing pole. And not bust my butt. Oh, spill my drink. It's gonna get real nasty here in a second. Oh boy, yeah, that's a, that's a doozy. That's a doozy with the one hand in the drink right there. Look at me go, get my morning drink. Don't hit the rocks. Fishing pole, we're good. Woo! Oh, whoa, 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 okay, okay, okay. Almost lost it right there. Uh, there's a whitetail just across the road. I think we ought to fish the dam deepest spot it could be wrong but I think that's what we'll try to do oh yeah there goes a fish right there just saw one swim off all right what a beaut So you've got really clear water around the edges. That's due to all the filtration of the grasses. Um, there's some surface grass 
with leaves, and that's pond weed. It's really common. Oh, I see baby bass right there in front of me. Baby bass, so that's a good sign. So I know there's, I know there's bass in here. Uh, I just heard like a good pop. It sounded like a bass that was slurping uh, something. But look how far this grass goes out. I mean, you have to make a long cast just to get to open water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for edge, edge holes, anywhere that has an opening with deep enough water, and then I'm gonna throw out into the middle and work it to the edge. Thought it was gonna be overcast, but we'll still go with black frog for right now. Crazy story about this place. The first time I ever came out here, rode straight by this pond, and the first thing that I saw along the dam was a dead 10-point buck in the water. It had drowned. And I was like, wow, um, there's some good, <laughs> there's some pretty good bucks out here. And way back there, that's where the pond buck kind of resides. There's this ridge, pretty sure I got him on camera in the last video, real tall mainframe 10. He's got a little extra kicker, but uh, he kind of goes over that ridge and back and forth from here from what I've seen on the, the trail cameras in the past, so. We'll be looking for him this year. All right, let's do a little exploring. Look at that little, look at that little nook right there. Why would a bass not? out oh gosh it's big bass or it's big fish just move from right there it was hanging in that shade guys yeah oh there's a bass right here Let's see him oh my gosh he's gonna eat it he's right under it oh my gosh got him oh my gosh that's freaking awesome i literally watched that fish i watched that fish i set the hook way too early i was watching him Oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh, I got him. Oh, what a champion. Oh, it's inhaled, it's gone. Oh, dude, are you the same fish? You look even bigger. Oh man, it is down the hatch. Down the hatch, guys. That was awesome. Just right next to the bank. I mean, literally a pitch, two rod lengths. There we go. What a beauty. Got a little bit of a bloody tail right there. All right, I'm gonna let this fish go. I, I honestly think that was a different fish, guys. Oh, it is. It was a different fish. I just saw the other one. Oh, and there's two more over here, right here in the shallows. I'm gonna let this fish go right here. Other way, other way, other way. There you go, come on. Give it a kick. Give it a kick. Go that way. Yeah. No. Go the other way. You mud mud fish. Why do you keep wanting to go in here? This this fish just wants to come home with me. All right. One final attempt here. There you go. No, what are you doing? I had you in the clear part. You could clearly see to go home. Oh, I'm gonna have to like get in here. If you come back up in here, I'm gonna be upset with you. Oh my God. I've never had this much issues releasing a fish that does not want to go back into the... Oh, that's crazy. Okay, I saw another one right here in this little shade pocket. I'm just going to try to stay back and flip this. Just like that. Oh my gosh, ate it right away. Ate it right away. And, <laughs> and I don't know if you guys could see this on the camera, but that fish tracked it in the air. Oh man, I got mud. I got clay all over my reel. I'm all slippery. Oh, just, a, just a hot mess, as they say right now.
That was insane, guys, because I saw the fish tracking towards my bait in the air, just like if something was falling out of the tree and it already knew. It was already looking at it. So I'll try this again. I just could not even, I just reacted way too fast. You gotta settle down. Look at this. This is hanging over the limb. Fish ate it. Fish ate it. When it was sitting over, oh my. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a little kid right now. I'm a little kid. Hung up and I'm trying to catch fish. I'm not sure why I did not hook up that time because I let them have it for just a split second. Maybe I didn't wait long enough, but I thought I did. This fish is like waiting, just, just waiting. It's not a big one, but it's exciting nonetheless. Let's see if I can, there he is, he's coming. He's right behind it, he's right behind it. I mean, these fish are like ready, ready for things to get in the water. If I get this fish on the third try, it's gonna be, oh my gosh. I can see him in this little pocket, just waking. Let's see if I can shoot it out there. That should be money juice. I'm just gonna let it sit, Let's see what he does. I know he's looking at it, he's right under it. You saw him wake. Right under it. He's like, fool me once. Shame on you, fool me twice. I won't get fooled again. There's plenty of tries there. All right, there's still, oh my gosh, there's another one right here. Try this little cast again. Oh, I just spooked that one off. Gotta be sneaky with these guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was the fish I just caught. He finally woke up, okay. All right, let's just make a cast out into the deeps. See what happens here. I really don't think this is very deep at all. I think that's why the ducks like it. There's a lot of stuff to eat around the middle. They can get to. So this thing could set up for just shallow bass. There's no reason for them to go out there and be out in the sun. Just hear those frogs in the background too. Oh yeah, there we go. Good hit out of nowhere. Oh, I lost him. Ah, he got me in those weeds. Tried to put the hammers to him. Oh, that was fun, man. Just working it in that open water. Wow. Yep, got a good hook in him. He's not coming back. Another bluegill just tried to eat it. Come on, bass, wake up. Wake up and smack that frog. There's a frog croaking right in front of me. It's like doing the Jaws theme. Down it, 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 down it. By the way, I have no idea how big, like what what's the potential out here for big bass. From what I've seen around the edges, it looks you know like a four pounder would be a pretty good one. But there could be some giants in here if they're eating lots of bluegill and frogs to get that little bob action. Just small little twitches of that rod tip. It just makes a little, nice little wake, kind of like a buzz bait. Very difficult cast right here. Oh, come on, that deserves one. Got it. Oh, dude. Right 
there. Just have a little trouble with that hook set. I suspect that was a little one. Oh, something about the smell of cow manure around the pond just brings back old memories for me. Pond hopping. I was younger. Oh my goodness, there's one right there in that hole. I spooked him. He saw me before I saw him. That's the name of the game sometimes. Caught in a thorn. Come on. These bass are living in just inches of water. Okay, I'm going to try the shallow end. I don't think this is going to be the deal. I think these fish are going to be... Oh, there's one. Oh, actually, heck, I've got him. He's in the weeds. Come here. I feel like I'm reeling in a tuna here with a spinning rod. Is there anything in there? Where are you? Are you a snake? No, there's nothing there. It's just weeds. I had me fooled there for a minute. I had one on. Mm, all right. The old sloppy pond fish. Let's see if there's one in this gap. Uh, there was one. I just don't know how big it was. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, straight reeling it right there. What in the world? That fish was living in gunk. Oh my gosh. Absolute gunk. I was not even looking. Oh my god. Oh my god. What in the heck is going on? We are in the sloppy slops. I swear, three quarters of the fun of frog fishing is just watching those little blow ups. Is this guy still hanging around? What is he living in? I'm telling you, this is some nasty, nasty stuff here. I am just as confused as you guys are. Like, what, what, what did that fish just come out of? there he's just waiting just not quite a big enough opening well they are definitely in that gunk that nasty zone but I've been hearing the most activity on this other side so I'm gonna head back over there where I originally saw those bass and then fish that thick edge and fish over it these mats and see if we can get some over there. All right, let's try this little mud skipper again. Give him another chance. There he goes. He's swimming towards it. He's like, ah, oh, here we go. Ah, that's why I kept missing you. You're that small. That was so cool though, to watch him come over to it. Come here little buddy, I got you now. Just barely had it. Good job, I like the way you move. I like the way you do business. Okay, we're back at the bike. I'm just gonna do a little flop work here. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Come here. Oh! Well, he was about 12 inches too, but uh, 
hit it right where you're supposed to in that little gap hole. Well, our uh, hit to sniff ratio is pretty low today. Frogs are the worst hookup ratio bait in your tackle box. Oh my gosh. You little, little body. You just came out of the weeds. Look how small. That's what's happening on these guys. It doesn't happen on a eight pounder. They, they do not have a problem with it. They sound a lot bigger than they are. <laughs> Get a little sniffy. Just a light sniff for you. Okay, I'm gonna try to work a few more of these openings. Got a lot of grasshoppers out here right now too. It's insane. We got plenty to eat. right there good one good boil come on right on the edge oh we missed it oh how big were you i don't know don't really know. Probably not big. I need to follow up with like a lunker log or a dart. I probably should give give a couple of those things a cast just because they're being very snippy. Oh my gosh, I watched. We've got to stop setting the hook. On impact. This is what happens when your frog game is weak. Okay, I've just got to see what a soft plastic would do. Wouldn't be able to sleep at night. I'm like, oh, look at this bass right here. I, mean, I just saw him. He's right there in that little juicy gap. And did you see the impact mode? I mean, I saw him, I turned around, threw to him, and wah-bam. I just, I don't know. It's almost like, do they think it's a grasshopper and they're just not fully, am I setting, I, I don't know. Put an ear mark on you. Okay, let's see what we got to play with here. Got a money bag and a saddle. Tell me I've got just something. What is this? Tell me. Oh, bandito bugs. I like the color though. Why don't we just try one of these colors? Maybe it'll look like a grasshopper or a poison dart frog. Three aught hammer hook. Detach our appendages. Rigging. Go in, quarter inch, come out, do your twist, and then to expose it on top. Okay. Going in the same gap. Might be another. Oh my! Okay. Okay, folks. <laughs> Clearly, what's going on here? These fish are, I'm gonna need more bugs. <laughs> These fish, I think, are targeting bugs that are falling out of the trees. <clears throat> They're not getting that full, full on mouth. Um, they're not getting their whole mouth on it. They're, I think they think it's a grasshopper and they just assume the size. And it's not the same size. Okay, you gotta let them run with it. Do not set the hook, dude. Got him. There we go. That's the key. I believe I saw you earlier, dude. I saw you. Oh, look, he's got an injury. Try to get eaten by something. I saw you earlier in there. I came back for you. 
Phil will love you so much. See you, bud. Okay. There we go. A little waiting on the hook set. That's what I should have done with a frog, too. There we go. Just give him a little wait. Just wait a second. That's that one I just missed on the frog a minute ago. And small. Small but very aggressive. Pretty healthy looking fish, actually. These fish don't look too stunted. Yeah, there, bud. They don't look too stunted. So it's telling me they got they got enough to eat out here. Hit it on the swim again. If if I, yeah, uh, they're just getting me, guys. I can still see his fresh little boil. There we go. Ah, gotcha, boy. Let it sink down there. You had to have some. Another fresh, healthy little guy. All right. These, these fishes gearing is towards bugs. I mean, stuff falling out of the trees. It's pretty crazy. There's a bite. Does he have it? Got him. Yeah, there we go. Come here. The old willow tree fish. <sighs> Hopefully you've not damaged my bug. You ripped a pincher off, but you're okay. It's okay. It's my last one I got on me. Back into the slop. Well, guys, it looks like size. Uh, that's that's what we're dealing with. I'm thinking I need to put a fish feeder out here. I've actually got one. I just need to fill it up with some pellets and uh, let it do its thing. Maybe get these bluegill to a bigger size, get these bass to a bigger size. But I've never run across a fish that didn't want a bandito bug. This thing is just crazy you can like swim it at the surface like a frog there's another one hit it as soon as it hit the water oh. i mean they are just waiting for things to fall out of these trees 100 percent it's it's almost like it's like you gotta cast it around a tree and just make it plop on the water and that that plop is is what's triggering them to come over in there and eat it don't even know if i can try to make this bandito bug work one more time here it's like plop oh yeah i need to go eat that thing there's one come here get out of there ah. Fish might have got off. Nope, we still got him. <laughs> oh, my little surprise. Thank you for, for eating my last my last worm. We're officially torn up. You need to grow. Possibly the last snip of the day. 
Smells good. Good old grass bass. Smells extra watermelon like. Sweet. Like sugar wine. Back to my old trusty horse. We'll sheath our, our rod for the moment. So there is another pond out here that I know has bass in it that we can ride to. But a lot of fish died in it during the winter. Uh, so I don't know how it's going to be right now. But I know it did have bass and I've caught some good ones out of it. So we'll load up on the horse and head on over. Excuse me, Ethel. Gonna need to take your watering hole here for a minute. I know, I'm sorry. I just gotta give it a quick dangle. Be out of your fur in just a minute. So unlike the other pond, this one doesn't have any overhanging trees. So these fish are not on the edge like the other ones, but we do have some pond weed around the edges of the pond. And I think like right there, right out in front of it, could be where they want to hang out. It could be all the way up in it right now too, with the sun being out. Oh my gosh, that's a good one too. Yep, he was all the way up in it. And that's the difference. <laughs> when they're big, they just suck it in. Oh yeah. Woo, that was fun. You skinny though. You need to eat. <sighs> old mud face <laughs> when they're that size you really don't have to let them take it they just do it all on, on their own sorry I got you in the tongue buddy I'm gonna let you go quick because tongue hooked fish never do well got to get them back in fast especially in the summer guys you get a fish hooked in the tongue if you're in a tournament, it's almost guaranteed you're going to have problems with that fish. But uh, their blood coagulates in water, so you want to get them back in the water as soon as you can. Wow, that, that could be a day ender for me. game we're gonna call it a day on the fishing scene y'all but just crazy how those fish were tucked up under those willow trees and you had to just be sneaky and pitch to them and i really think they're just waiting on bugs grasshoppers dragonflies little beetles things to fall out of those trees after i started really looking in the water i didn't see a whole lot of bluegill so they've got baby bass to eat they've got they've got little minnows uh, little top minnows, they've got bugs, and they've got frogs. So those are the, seem to be the natural resources. I don't know if they just scooped up all the bluegill, ate them all, but I didn't see any in the shallows where you typically would see them. And it just goes to show you, a bass is just gonna be a bass at the end of the day. A large mouth, loves to be in the shadows, uh, and no matter the water temperature, it seems like they just love to be in the shade love to be in those dark places where they can ambush prey so we always think about and i say this all the time and i love to do it we got to go out to deep water and we got to find these groups of fish and catch them but you can catch fish year round up in shallows and especially in the summertime when it's hot if you can find shade that is really key so no matter if you're pond hopping creek fishing or you're going on a lake there's always going to be those bass that are tucked up and inches of water just waiting for 
something to fall out of a tree or smash a big bluegill or a frog, things that are living around the bank. One more thing that just blew me away was watching those bass track my lure in the air, similar to uh, a trout does on like a dragonfly, something like that, where their eyes are looking up and they're tracking, timing when the, the bug or whatever is going to hit the water and just chasing it. I mean, it's like a wide receiver on football. It's insane. So very awesome, very like button smash worthy. So go ahead and do that. And just want to thank you guys for being with me in the great outdoors. And hopefully you're having a blessed day in the great outdoors as well. So I will see you guys on the next one. Uh, God bless. See you soon.